Today on We Find Treasure, a special Pixar spotlight on Up's Kevin. Yay! All right, guys, look what we just got in the mail. Straight from Mattel, Pixar Spotlight Series. Kevin! Yeah, I'm so excited. But why did... They pack him in a little box. Well, I don't think he's going to be very big. I think he, the picture was so big of him. Oh, look at that. I love this box already. Little babies and dead. <laughs> Look at that. Looks like Kevin comes with two babies. His little chocolate bar. Oh wait, three babies. The background looks like. Oh, where's that falls place they were going? Pixar Spotlight shines a light on the iconic characters. Yes, it does. Kevin was iconic. I'll find anybody that says otherwise. Kevin! Looks like they wanted to create a character that was both elegant and goofy at the same time. Here he is. Looks like he maybe has a stand in here and his little three babies. Got a cool signature here from the designer. Wait, do we got to place a tail on him? Oh, he looks pretty. Doesn't look like he needs much, um, what? Like we have to put him together at all. I think he's He's in there already complete. But let's open him up and see. Before we flip it over on the other side, let's just take a moment to appreciate this. It's super cute. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. Here it is, the background of Paradise Falls. There's a little house. This is, this is just beautiful. I can't wait to put this as a display piece. I love that they put the cardboard separate so that you could use it as a display piece, unlike Sadly, uh, the Monster High that I got recently where they put the packaging on the plastic artwork so you couldn't really use it. But this is a standalone piece and I like that. All right. Are these fuzzy? Do you like fuzzy? They are fuzzy. They haven't put flocking on figures, I feel like, in a really long time. I haven't had a flocked figure. Look at 
but their eyeballs are funny. Alright, let's get this guy. Oh, and here's his little stand. This looks like he's got a few little plastic tabs here that we gotta cut out. So wanted to point out that the way that they put the little plastic tabs around the little babies made it really hard to get them out. I didn't want to use big scissors and accidentally cut the babies so I tried using little scissors uh, but then it was hard to cut the tab that was holding them in. So it took a couple different tries to get them out of there but I appreciate that they were secure. So here, Kevin is free of his packaging, hey. or her packaging. Look at her little wings are articulated. We got little peg holes here to put my shoes on here. Yeah, hey, Kevin. Have some of this. Whoa. What? I wasn't expecting that. Look at that. So it looks like the... It's got a little leg hole that's pretty articulated here. But then this... That's neat. And you got a little claw articulation here. So I guess we can have him scrunching down. Here. It's hard to get <laughs> all of him in one shot. He's so big. Hey. I love these little babies. Their eyes are just so cute. They're looking every which way, just like in the movie. And you can't put one of them in Kevin's little feathers up there. I love the colors. The orange shades into the yellow and blue and purple really well. They're really just, oh, they're just the cutest. I love them so much. The baby bird's heads do have articulation so you can turn them side to side a little bit. Their feet don't move but I think that helps them stand a little better so they can pretty easily stand on their own and you can just turn the little heads around so they're looking whichever way you want them to. Alright, so I'm trying to stretch out his legs as straight as possible so we can measure him here. Looks like the top of his little feathers uh, grazed right about 11 and a half inches there. If you don't count his feathers, I guess that would be 11 inches. And then, look how big he is from his beak. From his beak to his tail, I'd say that's about 10 inches, yeah. Now, let's measure the baby birds. 
This little baby bird measures about one and a half inches tall and one and a half inches wide, which I suppose helps it stand. They all are about the same size, so that's pretty cute. I did think that they were going to have pig holes on their feet so that they could also be on the stand with Kevin, but they did not. But they stand pretty well on their own, so I guess you don't really need that. I also measured the chocolate bar that they came with, which was about one inch. So pretty big for those babies, but about the right size for Kevin to eat. All right, let's see if we can get Mr. Kevin, Mrs. Kevin to stand. It's pretty easy to pose Kevin in her stand here. Her pigs fit well on all the little stand pigs that they have for her. So you can put her in a couple of different poses. Here, so that um, is pretty nice. When she's on there, she's pretty sturdy. There's also a handy articulation point in her neck, so you can turn her head. It actually turns all the way around, just like she does in the movie. I wanted to see if you could put Kevin standing without using the stand she came with. So I put her on the floor here to see if I could get her to stand on her own. The answer is no. I tried putting Kevin in a couple of different positions, scrunching her down all the way to see if that would work, but she's a little middle heavy. Uh, so she kept falling over. So uh, the answer is no, she does not stand without using her stand or at least I couldn't get her to. In the box, we also got this card. And on the back, it looks like some sketches of early Kevin, maybe? That's pretty cute. I want to see. I'd have that on my wall. Oh, this is pictures of the other Kevins. Speaking of pictures, I decided to take her outside to take a couple of pictures of her outside in our backyard it's no paradise falls but you know it's all we got yeah i usually don't get a lot of figures for myself but these metal creations toys have really kind of reeled me in they are all just so beautifully done and just you know pulls at my heartstrings of all the things that i love you know i love up I love Kevin. I love Kevin's babies. I just love it all. So, you know, this was great for me. I think this is going to be an awesome display piece. And I'm going to rate it as an adult collectible item, not as a toy for a child. Put Kevin back in her box because we are moving soon and I wanted her to be secure here. Um, I was not able to put the little babies back in their little slot without the little plastic tabs, except for this one here did fit back into her little spot, but the other ones kind of fell. I did notice when I was putting her back in the box, the six plus here, I thought that was a little funny. This set is going for $40 on the Mattel website for Kevin and the little babies. I'm not sure that you would let a six-year-old play with a $40 action figure. Um, but, you know, for an adult collectible, that's actually pretty fair. kind of wish they just sold the little babies, though. I would probably pay up to, I don't know, like $12 for little flocked babies? little pack of three? Come on, Mattel. Missing out. I'll buy it. I am going to keep Kevin as a display piece and not really play with her a lot but as per most Mattel things I'm going to go ahead and just assume that this is pretty durable and give it a three out of five stars you know I have yet to break a Mattel toy action and posability I think Kevin gets a good four out of five stars lots of great articulation points so that you can get her in a lot of fun poses but she does need that black stand because uh, she's a little heavy to stand on her own but you know I understand she's heavy what can you do give the girl a break she's got three kids
for bang for your buck, I think I'm going to give this 4 out of 5 stars. Yes, $40 is a lot of money, but you get a huge Kevin, three adorable flocked babies, that back um, of Paradise Falls that can double as a art piece, as a backdrop to your figure, something you can pose, you get the chocolate bar. I mean, what else could you want? Any fan of Up, I think is going to love this. Definitely think we found some treasure with this Pixar Spotlight Kevin. And I hope you join us next time and see if we find some more. Thanks for stopping by.